Hello guys, my name is Martijn or Total Warzone and welcome to another top 5. So last time we did the top 5 best units, today we're doing com something completely different. We're doing the top 5 best campaign provinces in Total War Rome 2. And I'm talking the Grand Campaign, so best provinces in the Grand Campaign of Rome 2. So all these picks in this video will be chosen or were chosen from Twitter and YouTube. If you want to be featured on those type of videos as well, just reply on my uh, comment below this video in the comment section or check Twitter. You can also post your suggestions right there. So without further ado, let's get into the list. So we don't have any honorable mentions today because there aren't that many provinces to choose from. So I think it's just better to go straight up top five. Let's get into it. So number five, picked by Shizzle Whistle from YouTube, we have Ethiopia. This province is not that big, only having three normal regions, also no wonders, no major factions and no special buildings to begin with. The main advantage though of this province is in its geographical position. It's on the very edge of the map and it really is a very defensive position because there's only one way in via land, uh, through Egypt basically. The other way is through the sea but that's really hard so it's really a good defensive position. There's also a good amount of mercenaries and auxiliaries for the Romans and it's also quite easy to conquer because of the very weak factions starting out there. On the number 4 we have Africa, picked by David M. Hancock on Twitter. Africa is a very large province of course on the coast of Africa and it contains 4 settlements. One of them is a grain settlement and a grain settlement is really good because you can upgrade it without the cost of any food. It will actually give you food so it's pretty good. Uh, it also has the city of Cartago in it of course and Cartago grants a 25% bonus to income which is really a lot so a great economical advantage when you have this city and this province. It also is a very strategic naval position. It's a really spread out province and all four cities are um, yeah, connected to the sea so you can recruit ships and get trade on all four regions. It is quite hard to capture though because of Carthage and Libya being there and if you wage your war on them, pretty much a lot of factions over there will start to hate you and it's hard to bring them all down. Then we get to the number 3 spot and the number 3 spot we have Britannia and this one was picked by Michael Nix, if I pronounce that right, from Twitter. Um, this is another really large province containing 4 settlements of course and 2 of them have resources in it, uh, gold and leather. And both of them great, uh, grant great bonuses to income, especially gold, which really gives you a nice boost. Um, it also is also on a very strategic defensive position. Uh, it uses the sea as the primary defense, of course. It's on the very edge of the map, and once you capture the province um, up north, you're pretty much set. Enemies need to invade you through the sea, they need to sail to your city, and it's really hard to get there, especially because of the transport shit. A transport ship not transport shit nerf of latest patch of course so it's really a very defensive position uh, it also has the stone hinge wonder and this wonder grants good bonuses to economy and research it can be quite hard to invade for your own faction as well because of the sea being there and the different spammy barbarian factions then we're taking a huge step forward because this are, is really a very good province we're going to the number two spot Italia Picked by Evan1214 from YouTube, this is another large province containing 4 regions and 2 regions with good resources, olive oil and wine. Olive oil acts kind of the same as grain and wine also gives a nice economic boost. It is a very strategic position again, also using the sea as a border. Land attacks may only come from the north or from the south. The city of Rome, which is obviously in Italia, grants a plus 2 recruitment slot bonus to Italia as well and this probably is the best bonus in the entire game. You can just spam armies because of this, plus 2 is a lot. This really makes Italia a great military province and it also has access to a great mercenary pool filled with good Italian units like Etruscan Hoplites and Samnite Warriors. In my opinion by far the best military province in the game, really good to build your armies in here. So now we're getting toward the number one spot and this is an obvious winner. This one is by far the best in my opinion. Picked by Worlds White Law on Twitter, Aegyptus or Egypt. Again a very large province containing 4 settlements and all minor regions in there 
do have a resource. Two of them are grain, which I've talked about before, really good. One of them is iron, and iron is probably the best resource in the game because it gives you the rare ability to upgrade your troops. You can build an iron, a, a weaponsmith or an iron workshop, and you can just upgrade your units. They're not a a lot of these type of buildings on the map so it's really rare and good to have this uh, in this province and by far the best starting buildings in the entire game in my opinion it also is in a great strategic position on the edge of the map having contact with both the eastern and western world also having access to both seas so it's really good overall just a all-around good position and quite easy to defend as well the province also contains two wonders and this is the only province in the entire game which has two provinces in it. The one, first one is the Pharos of Alexandria, which grants great naval boost, while the Necropolis of Giza grants bonuses to construction. By far the best economic province in the game, while still having great military capabilities because of it having four regions and because of it having the iron resource. You can really upgrade your troops, great economical uh, perspectives and bonuses, great potential, good in every department, great position, overall a really good province. That is also why I think Egypt has the best starting position in the entire game. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode with the top 5. Uh, you can vote for the next one in the comment section below or on Twitter and you will have a chance to get features in these types of videos as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one.